Before the video starts, I want you to check out Youth Pod Ireland on Apple Podcasts. I sat down with the lads to talk about mental health, so if you're into podcasts, it's your mecca for all things youth related. As some of you may know, I've been a working man for a few months now. I'm sure that most of you out there are in the same position as me, but it's a big part of this adulting thing that we all must do. Like, how else are we going to get money for the strip club at the weekend? Am I right? But nothing makes our job worse than annoying customers and the strange situations that we all must deal with. Lads and ladies, my name is Josh O'Connell and this one goes out to the people out there who have to deal with human beings for money. Sorry, that sounded a bit strange. So you're ready to start your day at work after dreading it the whole night before. Working in retail is certainly one of the toughest jobs that you can do and it really isn't made any easier with questions like this. Sorry, um, I was just looking for a price check. Do you work here? Oh, sorry, um, no, this is actually a new design by Versace. Did you not see Cardi B wearing it at the Met Ball there? Obviously I work here. And once your customers have established that your work uniform is not, in fact, a fashion choice, you might expect to receive a life story or two during your working shift. Yeah, I think that fits me there actually quite nicely. I was out with the, the kids there at the weekend and we were having an ice cream down in Dunleary and You'll never guess what I bumped into. My old grandfather, he was in the war and stuff. What do you think of the hair there? I'm after getting a little bit of trim. I think I need a bit more off the side. Yeah, I hope you had a lovely time with your kids there. You look lovely. I don't get paid enough for this shit. As I mentioned before, human beings make things very difficult, but there's nothing worse than a rude customer. Now, sir, um, I hope you have enjoyed your time at insert shop here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funny story that uh, I forgot the, the socks and the Vaseline for earlier on. Uh, hang on there for a sec. Some, some Phil's talking to me. What do you want? So that's 20 euros please. Would you like a bag? Well, I'm not going to carry all this down the road, am I? Big Egypt. Okay, I uh, hope you have a lovely evening. Just leave your bag there for you. Bye now. Some days I feel like I was just made to work in retail. With a C in ordinary level maths, counting change is just one of my best attributes. Now, oh, that's 23.50 please. Sorry there now. I only have a 50. Or no, it's a small change. Which would you prefer? Yeah, yeah, that's no bother. Um, I haven't got change of 50 here, so I can take the small change off you. Is that okay? Oh, small change it is. Sick. This was okay. Are you sure this is okay? How much is it? Twenty three fifty. Yep. Yeah. Sure, I can make twenty three fifty out of all this. Oh hell no! <laughs> if you know anyone who has experienced some of this stuff, or you have experienced it yourself, please be sure to let me know, because I really understand. And also, I'd like to confirm that I'm not the only person in Ireland with a customer service voice. Do you have one of those too, or is it just me? For the purpose of this demonstration, I've taken my glasses off. Here's my normal voice. Check out Youth Pod Ireland and have a lovely day. And my customer service voice. Check out Youth Pod Ireland and have a lovely day. Oh, I really should do some things that are better with my time. <laughs> 